Do you remember the old VHS tapes? Well, if you've still got some knocking around and you haven't thrown them away yet, I've got a great project for you. In this one, I'm going to show you how to take an old VHS case and turn it into this stylish handbag. For those of you who are too young to remember VHS tapes, these came well before CDs, well before DVDs, and when we had no such thing as Netflix. Right, so first on the agenda is to pick out a case that you want to use for the handbag. I think the old Disney classics are great for this. I picked out Beauty and the Beast because it's my girlfriend's favourite, so that's what I'm going to use to make the handbag. Right, so the idea with this is to make a fabric insert to form it into a handbag, but first we need to make some paper templates. For the main rectangular piece, I used the cover art itself as a bit of a guide, so I took it out of the VHS case and traced round it. Along with the main rectangular section, we also need two triangular side pieces, so I opened the case to an angle that I thought looked good and traced around it on the paper. I could then cut that out. Now we've got the paper template sorted, we can transfer them onto the material. I'm going to be using this nice polka dot fabric for this one, but of course you can use any pattern or any colour that you like. I flipped it over so I could mark on the reverse side. I traced around the rectangular section, making sure to leave a slight overhang. This will give me space to sew later. Now because the triangle side pieces will be visible from both sides, I'm going to make sure them doubled over. So I traced around the piece, leaving a bit of a border, flipped it over and traced around it again. You'll see what I'll do with this in a little bit. Now I can cut those pieces out. With the pieces cut out, I can fold the triangle pieces in half. I made sure to fold it pattern side in, that way I can sew it and turn it inside out to get a nice clean edge. So with the triangle folded in half, I could take it to the sewing machine and get the edges sewed. I start the stitch a little bit and then reverse it and go back over. This just secures the thread in place. I could then sew all the way around the edges, but making sure to leave an opening at the bottom. This will allow me to turn it inside out. On the rectangular piece, I folded the edges over and sold all the way around. This will just create a neater edge. With those sewed together, I can turn the triangle pieces inside out and make sure they're all flat. As you can see, doing it this way, it gives a nice neat edge. Now it's just a case of sewing the pieces together. Now this can be awkward because the fabric will want to pucker up on you, but just take your time with it. As I'm sewing the pieces together, I'm starting with the triangle piece at the corner, sewing along the edge, turning it, sewing along the bottom, and turning it again and sewing up the following edge to meet it at the other corner. This should create a little bag insert that we can put into the case. As I say, this can be really awkward, but just take your time with it. If you've got the needle engaged on the sewing machine, you can turn it round freely. So just get it in a position that you feel comfortable with and take it nice and slow. You could also sew this by hand. That is an option. I'm not a sewer. I haven't got that skill in me, so I resorted to the machine. Once the other side was sewed on, we've now got an inside out bag insert. Now we want to flip this back inside out so we've got the polka dot pattern on the inside and of course we can still see the polka dot pattern on the outside on either side. It doesn't matter about the back of the rectangular piece because that's going to get glued to the case. Before we glue the insert into the case though, we need to think about adding a handbag chain. Now I've got this chain off Amazon, it came with two loops and two different sizes for chain. So you've got a more traditional, longer handbag chain and a shorter one that could be used more like a purse. To fit the loops to the case, I drilled two holes through each corner. These are at a slight angle so I can thread the loops through and add the chain to it. With the holes drilled, it's just a case of bending the loops apart. And again, this can be quite awkward because the metal is quite stiff. But using the two pliers working against each other, you can bend it into a shape that'll fit through the holes. Once the loop's threaded through the holes, you can bend it back into shape with the pliers. Again, 
This is a little bit awkward, but take your time with it. And then that's the loop attached. With that loop in place, you can do the same to the other corner. Now it's almost time to glue the bag insert into place, but before we do that, we need to get the iron out. We need to make sure it's ironed nice and flat so we've got rid of any creases, but we also want to add a couple of creases as well. In the side panels, we want to make sure that they're folded going inwards. When we close the case, we don't want the fabric sticking out and getting caught in the mechanism. So if you fold it and give it a bit of an iron, you'll get a nice crisp crease in the middle. This way, as you fold the case, it should fold inwards rather than outwards. Now we've got that sorted, we can glue it into the case. Now you could use a few different glue options for this, maybe spray adhesive, super glue, but I opted to use hot glue. I chose hot glue because it's semi-permanent, but it's also quite strong. If I wanna remove the bag insert later, I could do so, it may rip the fabric, but it should keep the case intact. So I could always change the fabric for a different design or a different colour at a later date if I wanted to. I added some beads of glue around the edge and some dabs in the middle and started adding the bag liner. I just took my time with this, double checking that the case was closing okay and it was all lining up and just finished it off all the way around. Once the insert was glued in place, it's just a case of clipping on the chain and that's the bag done. It may be a small handbag, probably better suited to being a clutch bag, but you can keep all sorts in there, such as a face mask, some money, a cautious phone, and other bits and bobs that you want to carry with you. I think there's lots of options for this handbag. You could add any kind of artwork into the sleeve, but I think using your favorite film from when you grew up is a great option for this. I really hope you like this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. If you're gonna have a go at this, what film are you gonna use? If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, make sure you click the subscribe button and then click the little bell icon next to it. That way you'll get a notification as soon as you upload a new video. Thank you all for watching.